Hi everyone, Larry Satchwell here today in the shop with a Santa hat on. Each year we draw names for Christmas and this year I have Jake. And it just so happened that Laura, his wife, was here the day that Carl Jacobson put out his video on carving horns and a skull, a cow skull. I showed it to her and she said, oh, Jake would love that. He's a huge Texas fan. So Jake, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm not sure it's going to work. I've got this 4x6 beam out of our house uh, when we did some remodeling a few years ago. It was stored in the barn for several years and I cut this end off because it has some nasty nails in it and I'm hoping I don't hit any other nails and I see some termite damage so I may have to work around that but I'm going to give it a shot to make you a Texas Longhorn steer. Wish me luck. Big knot here, big knot here, big knot here. All right, X's are up. Oh, right through that big nut. Well, it's got to get round. All right, this would be a perfect time to buy a turbo carver, but I don't have one. This is a little bit big back here, but just a little termite damage up here that I can patch. And I'm pretty happy with that. Well, that ought to give me something to do for the next few hours. Well, Jake, here goes nothing. I've got everything rough cut, and uh, I really appreciate you uh, getting your name because it gave me an excuse to buy a couple more tools. This tool, I was looking through websites, lusting over the Arbitech tool, and this one came up as $18, which is really cheap, the gaff. I didn't click on it though. I didn't buy it. A couple days later I opened my email and they had a two for one price. So I had to go for it. So I got two of these for $18. They're rounded corners. It looks like they'd scare the heebie-jeebies out of me. But 
I just now opened them up. And on Black Friday, ArborTech came up with a $99 deal. I've been lusting over these for about five years and just couldn't pull the trigger 150 bucks. 50 bucks off I did because I knew I had this project to do. You're either going to get this or a workbench, <laughs> depending on the outcome. Here we go. Well, neither one was grabby. This is uh, certainly a lot more aggressive. Next thing I'm going to do is to attach the horns. Keep everything symmetrical. Yeah, I might regret that, but not right now. So, the horns are attached. I like it. I'm going to, I'm attaching them so I can make sure everything's symmetrical. I'm going to attack this one part at a time. The first part I'm going to attack are the horns, trying to make them round. That's why I use the circle cutter to try to get these rounded off. And I'm going to experiment to see if I like the Arbitec or the graph to round these off. I may end up using my draw knife but I'm gonna leave them on here for right now unless they start creating too much vibration I've got myself surrounded with all these pictures I took when I was visiting uh, when I took the goats to Abby's school they had a cow skull on the shelf and in between classes I put it on the table and took a lot of pictures of it I didn't have a tape measure with me so I used my phone as a reference so the skull is two and a half lengths of my phone uh, it's also one and a half lengths wide and I've got all these different skulls here and the, they're all different and of course that's the way nature is so once I get started I basically have to choose one of these skulls that I really like and uh, kind of disregard the others but they're all pretty cool looking Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, the horns are finished. I think they're in about the right spot. So I'm going to work on this upper part here first. Uh, I have a great picture of the back. I need to blend this in. There's a little bit of a hump right here. It's going to go across here, a little bit of a hump. But all this has to be blended in. And then there's a big negative cavity back here and I'll probably dig that out a little bit just to lighten this thing up it's not very heavy this is all pine but uh